All right, hello everyone. I um, want to share um, just a couple quick, I guess, little visions and a dream I had last night. Um, so, it's cold out here this morning. I don't know, maybe like 20. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't have a word to share this morning, but uh, I kind of woke up late. Um, my body's been like all achy for a little while. I have some. 54 years old, so uh, some would say that comes with age, but I say it comes without from not working out. So, been pretty lazy lately and not really uh, working out too much. But the aches and pains seem to go away when I work out, and all kinds of research to support that, and uh, you know, bone density, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, um, so I don't know. Maybe like a week ago, I kind of had like a a little flash vision vision of like a bullhorn and then I right after immediately I had another one it looked like one of those air raid sirens kind of or something you make big announcements from so I don't know I'll take a guess I think that's like we need to be like you know putting out the warnings and sounding the alarm which I've been getting these sort of words from the Lord um, since 2015 and uh, at that time he said the time of my coming is at hand and he's merciful and uh, you know he, he doesn't want anybody to perish and neither do I and that's why I am decided to do this video so I don't know it's been on my heart a lot lately that you know people really try to simplify the gospel and it, it is interesting um, you know again you know, the Bible says, you know, all who believe in Jesus Christ will be saved. However, there's all kinds of other verses in the Bible that basically say we're called to walk accordingly. Um, we're not saved by works. We're not kept by works. But our works and the fruit we bear are evidence that we are saved. So, again, I hope you're not one of the people, if you're stumbling on this video, that just says, oh, I believe in living and doing whatever you want. And, uh... You know, the word ignorance is something that comes up a lot, um, and it's something I think about a lot because I was definitely guilty for the longest time, and I've shared some testimony videos about how I came to know the Lord and hear His voice. The Bible says, my sheep hear my voice. So, um, anyway, I'm going to post some verses. Again, I think the Bible is the gospel. Um it, there's a heck of a lot of things in there that, um, you know, it says even the demons believe and tremble and they lost their first habitation. And, uh, you know, Jesus said, I'm the vine, you're the branches, and those who don't bear fruit are going to be cast out. So, you know, if you are um, a branch on that vine and maybe you're saved or you're thinking you're saved and you're not bearing fruit, there's an issue. Um, there's also several other verses pointing to what I believe are people that, you know, maybe were saved, but then turned from righteousness and went and committed all this wickedness. And it also talks about people that are wicked and then they turn unto righteousness. So um, I really highly suggest that you do your best to strive to enter the straight gate. The Bible says that. We have free will and we have a part to play in all this. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, we just do our best. And when we sin, Jesus is our advocate. That's 1 John 2. And also when you pray, discern the spirits. Because, again, um, entire religions have been started and come about because some angel appears to somebody or somebody hears a voice or whatever. And I've been to many, most sects of Christianity. I've been in their churches and I've checked out what they believe and I've looked online and they contradict the word. And oftentimes they continually, even in their services, they'll read out of the Bible and then they'll be like reading out of something, some, you know, somebody like me who says they're hearing the voice of the Lord and, and then they're quoting these people. Well, you just need to be very careful because oftentimes what they're quoting from these certain individuals is contradicting the word or they're leaving verses out or whatever. And 
my greatest suggestion is, again, to truly seek the Lord with all your mind, heart, body, soul, and ask to hear his voice, because even Jesus said it, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. So I'm going to post in the comments um, just a little paragraph, you know, the gospel and other things you should know. And I don't, you know, I don't want to say it's necessarily complicated because it, it isn't. But if you don't read the Lord's word and you don't know these things, um, you know, ignorance basically means the information's there and you choose not to access. And maybe you're just walking around lukewarm. You know, the Bible says, I'd rather you be hot or cold, like hot meaning on fire for the Lord and cold meaning you're not, maybe you're against the Lord. I don't know. But lukewarm is like somebody who just is like, yeah, yeah, I believe in the Lord. But, you know, you're just walking around going to church at once a week and the rest of the week is all about the world. Um, you know, I would say seek the Lord every day. Every day I read the Bible and I, or try to every day. And um, when I do that and I seek the Lord and I pray in the morning, I generally have a great day. But it's like if I get real busy and all in the world, it's like that's when things start to kind of get, get to a bad place. So anyway, I'm going to post some some uh, verses in the comments. And uh, it's basically, you know, I believe how to be saved and walk with the Lord. And it's quick. And uh, they're just very, I believe, pertinent verses that are in the Bible that everybody should know. And uh, the most important thing is to know the Lord and truly seek him because he will say, and I believe it's Matthew 24, you know, people will say, they'll be standing before the Lord and say, you know, Lord, Lord, haven't I cast out demons and prophesied in thy name and done all these things and works? And the Lord says, be gone from me, you work iniquity. I never knew you. So, um, you know, that's my goal. Just trying to hopefully get people saved. And even people that do bad things, we pray for them. We're called to pray for them. Um, you know, and that's what the Lord wants. And that's what we should be trying to do. Um, all right. So I'm going to post those verses um, in the comments. It'll basically say the gospel and other things that we should know. And, oh, the other dream I had, I had a dream, and I, I don't believe every dream's from the Lord either, um, but I had a dream that this big cancer center had burnt down, and I have a lot of different opinions on cancer than what the mainstream will tell you. I've, I've met personally and heard of different testimonies and stories of people actually curing themselves of cancer through all types of different means, healthy means and uh, fasting and, uh, you know, anyway. Um, so yeah, this big cancer center burnt down and it, and it was like kind of near a major highway, I believe. But again, I don't believe every dream is from the Lord. I just wanted to share it because I thought it was kind of strange like out of the blue, I would dream that. Um, oftentimes I have dreams or hear songs in my head that I, I've heard, heard in years that are interesting. But, you know, I had another dream I shared. I was being attacked by ducks and, and that hasn't come true yet. So thank the Lord for that. Um, but again, I'm not sure if I know that not every dream is from the Lord. Um, but I just found that dream interesting, so I just figured I'd share it. Um, I guess if it comes true, then we'll know it's from the Lord, but who knows? So anyway, um, yeah, I don't share every dream. I have some weird dreams, especially if I eat right before bed. Some crazy <laughs> weird dreams. Anyway, um, all right, I guess that's it. All right, God bless. Love y'all, and uh, God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.